Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. People all over are tuning in for their nightly entertainment. Let's see what they're listening to. Ah, of course, Morris Money. No reason to pay. Subscribe for free so you can always tune in. Today, I'm talking about what happened to Enozyme Pharma INZY. A couple weeks ago, I made a video talking about should you buy the stock as I see a lot of potential for the pharmaceutical company. Over the past six months, the stock has ran over 200%. Even after I started talking about the stock, over the past two weeks, the company ran about 20% from where I originally started talking about the stock, but it's come back down from that point, and I've wondered why. First and most obvious, it could just be a possible consolidation slash pullback. After the company has ran over 200% within six months, and 21% in the past month, it's understandable that the company might need to cool down just a bit. But after doing some research today, Amazon Pharma released a Form 14 talking about the shareholder structure, board members, and their upcoming shareholder meeting. Within the statement, I found some pretty interesting information and something that you want to look out for if you're a shareholder. The first thing I found is board member options that have yet to be exercised. In the filing, I found a section talking about the stock options held by board members and what their option exercise price is. Now, the most common ones were $2.02, $2.77, $16, $19.78, and $5.78. Now, board members have already exercised the options for the $0.98 options for the stock, but you still have plenty more options that have been yet to be exercised. But the good news is that this can happen over a long period of time. The next options to expire are the $2.02 options that expire in 2029 so you're still talking about six years away so you still have plenty of time more interesting though i found a section talking about the equity compensation plans and when they could be potentially exercised specifically in this section they talk about weighted average exercise price of outstanding options warrants and rights now this can pretty much dilute shareholders and bring more shares into the mix again diluting shareholders but what's interesting to know here is that the average exercise price is eight dollars and fifty three cents this is the number you want to have in the back of your mind in case we ever get close to that price because you might want to sell out right before this before you could potentially get diluted by exercising shareholders and talking about dilution going off the same note if these options warrants or rights were to be executed you have about 4 million or 4.6 million shares coming into the float that would be diluting shareholders furthermore you have another million that could come into play under the compensation plan so in total you have about 5.7 million shares that could dilute shareholders if everything were to be exercised. Just some stuff to keep in mind and to bring to your attention. Let me know your thoughts about this down below and what do you think has been driving down the share price recently? I want to know your thoughts and theories down below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.